Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to do in this video is we are going to do a speed run of installing a unified controller, Linux based, installing scripts, uh, putting the firewall on. We'll talk about some of this. I've got a, um, I've got a stopwatch up here. So we're going to run this. We're going to see how quick we can do it. It's very easy. That's why I want to show you this. And uh, we'll do a speed run on a couple other pieces of software too, but uh, I couldn't get outside for part two of the why your Wi-Fi sucks video just yet. Hours and things aren't cooperating at the moment. So I wanted to do this because um, I, I think people think that this is a lot harder than what it really is. So let's go over what we've got. I'm in my registrar's DNS settings, so you're going to need that. I am at DigitalOcean. Now you can host this anywhere you want, whether it's on your own Linux box, whether it's Windows or whatever. I prefer Linux for management of this. I think it's a lot easier than Windows. Um, I think it's a lot more stable. I think it's a lot more secure. You could use Volter. You could use AWS. You could use any service. I am using DigitalOcean. We're going to need the installation script from Glenn. Glenn is a Ubiquity employee who does Unify uh, troubleshooting and some tech support, but he also maintains these automatic installation scripts. Now, I am going to use the cheapest. Oh, the other thing you're going to need is some way to SSH in. I'm just going to use my Windows 11 command prompt. And then um, you, you can use PuTTY, you can use Secure CRT, you can use whatever you want. Now, I am going to use the cheapest droplet that I can, so that will add some time to this. But, and I'm going to talk through this process as we go, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start the stop clock, the stopwatch right now. It's, it's early. Uh, and we are going to get rolling. So here we go. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, we're over here at DigitalOcean. I'm going to create a droplet. Uh, New York is fine. It's going to be Ubuntu, the latest version. I'm going to go regular and I'm going to use the cheapest one. So if I use something with more resources, this would install a lot quicker, but I'm going to show you using the least inexpensive option that we have. Uh, I am going to use a password. If you have SSH keys, I prefer SSH keys, but we're just going to use for this because I'm going to destroy it. I'm just going to use a password and I'm going to paste this in here and you can see the requirements here keys are much more secure and then disabling SSH to your droplet altogether once this is done is actually best case scenario and I'll show you how to do that. I'm not going to uh, do anything besides change this to unify speed run but we're already at a minute because Willie talks a lot. All right we're going to create the droplet and then once this is created and we have the IP address we are going to go over and we're going to put that um, as an A record or a host record in our DNS. So we're at about a minute, 25 seconds. All right, there's our IP address. We're going to go ahead and copy that. We're going to come over here to our DNS. We're going to add a record. It's going to be unify. And I'm using this as angry cloud. Dot com. I'm going to put the IP address in there. We're going to save that. Now that's going to take that a few minutes to, to propagate. And we're going to leave that open. We're going to come over here. We're going to click on our droplet. We're going to go to networking. We're going to scroll down to firewalls. We're going to edit. We're going to create a firewall. Call this Unify Speedrun. For now, we're going to allow SSH. We're going to allow HTTP. We're going to do a custom. This would be 8080, which is our inform port. This is going to be custom. We're going to do 8443. And then we need the stun port, which would be a custom. Uh, it's going to be a UDP. And I am going to pause the video. I'm going to leave the stop clock going. I've got to look that port up. Excuse me, just a second. Okay, 3478. All right, 80, 80, 80, 8, 4, 4, 3, 3, 4, 7, 8. 
We're going to apply this to unify speedrun. Create firewall. And we're going to come over here and we're going to see unify. This is angrycloud.com has not propagated just yet. Oh, there it goes. So it didn't get it internally, but it did get it externally. So we're going to do SSH root at unify. This is angrycloud.com. We'll accept that. I got to grab my password again here, real quick. All right. do an update we'll do our upgrade real quick we could just let the script do it um, yeah let's let the script do it so we're gonna copy this link I'm gonna come over here we're gonna do a w get I haven't had any coffee yet either now we're gonna do a change mode plus executable that's what the X is on that then we're gonna run the file Glenn has done a great job. Um, since he created these scripts, we have started moving away from manually in installing SSL, SSL certificates in some cases. And we will use his unified easy script to do that. Depends on the client, depends on the use case. So while we're watching this, install all of our prereqs. Tell me down below how you host your Unify controller. Do you use the U official Ubiquity hosting? Do you use Hostify? Do you create your own uh, controllers? Do you have them on site? Do you have them in the cloud? Do you just use Unify OS consoles that don't need to do this? How do you host your Unify? And you can see, I, I've got to do very little, very little thinking. Um, I'm going to tell it to go ahead and update our, our system. Like I said, uh, using a key to authenticate for SSH, that's the best way to do it. You can also turn on MFA. If you search back through my videos, I've got a Linux MFA video, so you can also do that. Uh, best case scenario is that when we're done, we just don't allow SSH until we need to go ahead and upgrade the controller. There's no reason to have SSH open to the world until we need to access. All right, so the script is running a few things. We're at about 6 minutes and 15 seconds. And the script should come up here shortly. Yep, so now it's going to do MongoDB. It's going to do Java. Like I said, if I would have selected a machine that had more, more resources, this would probably be moving quite a bit faster. But you can see for a $6 a month droplet, and if you're not keeping a bunch of logs and you're not keeping data lo longer than you need to because the best way to secure data is to not have it, this droplet for a single site would probably work pretty well. All right, we just crossed the seven minute mark. Some of you may be able to do this faster. If we were on Windows, we'd probably be done already, but then you have to make it you know, run as a service and you have to make Windows happy. I don't know if you have seen, which could make a lot of this different in the Windows world. I've got to try it in Windows Server 2025. We're going to have hot patching. I believe it's going to be, well, I can't say that. For some reason, the article that I read on Microsoft, for some reason, I thought it was going to be subscription-based. Maybe it's not. We'll have to see how that works out. But trust me, we will definitely be doing a video on that too because that's huge to do hot patching in Windows and not have to do that reboot. All right, so it's installing a few more utilities. We're getting ready to cross the eight minute mark. Is now installing the Unify Network application. Once this is done, it is going to ask us if we want to use 
download and use the Unify Easy script, and we do. That's what is going to allow us to install that SSL certificate. Still running. Now remember, even though we're running this on DigitalOcean, we are going to disable SSH. We're going to control the ports that the world is allowed to see. Remember that this is really still someone else's computer, right? So to host anything in the cloud, you have to have a level, a level of comfortability. You have to have a level of trust. And if you have some sort of method of verifying that and you can feel good about it and sign off on it, use the resources that you got available. We just crossed about nine minutes, 10 seconds. It is installing. Remember, this is the $6 drop. This is, I don't know that I can get virtual hardware that is any less expensive. And at no time will I stop that, that clock. Even if I have to pause recording, that is still running. So you'll see that jump around there. So there's a potential the video itself will be a few seconds shorter than the stop clock. I'm even foregoing my coffee for you during this, this speed run. Installing. Have any of you used the new Unify Flex 2.5 gig switch? I'm very interested in that because the original Unify Flex switch, or uh, the, uh, the Flex Mini, we, uh, we cram those things everywhere. All right, here, do you want to download and exify the Unify Easy Encrypt script? Yes, we do. So it is downloading it. It's going to install a few more packages that it needs. And then here shortly, it's going to prompt us for the fully qualified domain name. Sorry, I had to pause the recording there to get a big cough out. All right, we're going to apply Let's Encrypt Certificates. It's going to start SnapD on the system. It's going to try to guess our FQDN. Now, if I had reverse DNS running and it could look up the IP address and I already had that reverse Unify created, it would probably be able to do it. Um, there's a couple other ways that you can make it return that automatically. CertBot, which is the mechanism, the piece of software that installs those Let's Encrypt is being installed right now. Heck yeah, I want to secure my setup. Yep, this droplet is in Eastern. We will keep all the certificates C, and it doesn't know what the FQDN is, so no, it is not correct. We're going to put unify.thisisangrycloud.com. It's going to try to resolve that. Resolve correctly. No, I don't want more FQDNs. Yes, we're going to change the FQDN in the settings. Uh, yes, we'll put my email in here. All right, so it's going to do the challenge and install the certificate. We just crossed 12 minutes, 20 seconds. It is now importing the SSL certificates. Come on, little droplet. It's the little droplet that could, right? The little droplet that could. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. 12 minutes and 45 seconds so far. Now importing the SSL certificate. So it's doing all that work with the key store that we used to do manually. It is now doing all of that. And this script also sets it up so that when your Let's Encrypt 
certificates are getting ready to expire that it will go ahead and renew those for you automatically. There will be tweaks that you'll want to do probably to the system after it is installed. This is going to get us up and going. It is going to get us to a base where we can create sites, start adopting devices and things like that. We're crossing the 14 minute mark. Now I have uh, some of this will be slowed down by some explanation and things like that. And like I said, you have to remember, this is the $6, $6 droplet. It's doing a little cleanup. Unify is now active and running on this droplet. It will take it a, a minute or two to start. So now you can see our FQDN is HTTPS colon slash slash unify dot this is angry cloud dot com colon 8443. Let me bring that up in a browser. All right, I kept that clock running. All right, so here is our setup screen. Angry Cloud Unify. We agree. Now, if you had a backup and you were moving this, you could restore from a complete backup here. <clears throat> Going to go next. Now, here we can bind this to our UI account so that if you want to see this in your unify.ui.com uh, portal, you could. I'm going to skip that. I'm going to do the advanced setup and I'm going to skip this. And we're going to use our lab password. We don't have to bind this to Unify, which is, or to Ubiquity, which is beautiful. We're 15 minutes, 36 seconds. All right, our server is now set up. We are logged in. We've got an SSL certificate. We could start adopting devices to this. We can come into our settings. Let's see here. If you had multiple sites, you could enable multiple site management. Now you can see we've got the drop down. We can add uh, another one, another site. We could import the site. So now I've got default, I've got Willie. Office. I can even change this, this the site. This is Angry HQ. Apply these. So now I have Angry HQ and Willie Office. I am going to come in here. I'm going to exit out of SSH. I'm going to come into my firewall. I am going to delete the SSH rule. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to make sure that I cannot connect. SSH is timing out. So about 16 minutes 45 seconds give or talk all the take all give or take all the talk and we now have a unify controller that is up and running on DigitalOcean, six dollar droplet with ssl certificates the proper ports open we can now start importing we can now start adding devices building new sites doing all those things so if you've got any questions about this let me know down in the comments let the banter begin. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links. There is a DigitalOcean affiliate link down there. If you want to host your, your Unify controller, I'm also going to do a GWN manager speed run. We'll see how long it takes us to get the Grandstream controller up and going. Its architecture is a little bit different. Um, if you need help doing this, you want someone else to do this for you, you want somebody to look over your Unify controller or any of your network or security settings, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to discuss this further than what YouTube comments are going to allow, head on over to community.willyhow.com, sign up, start the topic somewhere, and let's get the community involved in this discussion. Once again, I'm Willie. In less than it takes your coffee pot to, to fill in the morning, you can have a Unify controller up, going, and secured.
So I want to thank you for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.